Sollen wir nicht Ninja kaputt gehauen? Mehr oder weniger. Lass die Gamecube in Ruhe. Ich glaube, das tat weh. Ich glaube... Ja. Oder auch nicht. Okay, ich glaube jetzt ist es vorbei. Grey Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Grey Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Grey Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi. What happened to Grey Fox after that? The records said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I can tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? I'd rather not, but maybe that's what he wants. Wir sind bereit. So, alles okay, Dr. Emrick? How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. 
alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? Hal Emmerich, Christopher I've heard about Randolph. You from oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Ah. Uh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. I... No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the president personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? Did the terrorists launch that thing? No. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool! It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. 
God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah. In the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no. Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? Uh oh. Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You get all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. I 
I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Just Articon. So, jetzt kann ich hoffentlich auch mal wieder sprechen. Ich möchte bei solchen Sequenzen einfach mal die Klappe halten, weil die so schön sind. So. Oh. <lacht> schön. Also das Plakat, was wir übrigens vorhin gesehen haben, das hier, ist äh, von The Zones of the Enders. Ist äh, ein Anime, soweit ich weiß. Ist auch gleichzeitig ein Videospiel, was auch der liebe Hideo Kojima ge äh, konstruiert hat, so wie hier Metal Gear, das hat auch Hideo Kojima gemacht. Ähm, keine Ahnung, worum es in dem Spiel geht. Ich weiß nur, dass das auch irgendwie so mit japanischen Robotern, japanisch Animes, irgendwas ist das. Äh, kommt auch irgendwie so eine HD-Collection raus für die Playstation 3 und die Xbox. Wenn ich mich recht entsinne, ich habe keine Ahnung, so ich komme mich hier gerade nur ein bisschen nach Narration oder sowas um. Aber scheint es nichts zu geben. So, Meryl wurde er gefangen. Vermutlich so. Bevor ich jetzt aber vergesse, rufe ich erstmal kurz Ardekorn an. So, damit ich die Frequenz gespeichert habe. You still haven't found Meryl? Nein. Snake, the Warhead Storage Building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Bin ich doch schon dabei. Ich wollte nur, dass ich deine Frequenz gespeichert habe. So. Jetzt haben wir hier alle. Ich glaube, es gibt gar nicht mehr. So. Nuke Building B2. So, und hier liegen noch die armen Leichen rum und alles. Tut mir leid, Leute, aber ich kann euch da nicht helfen. So, Gasmaske an und rein da. So. Was wir jetzt noch machen, wir haben jetzt eine Level 4 Karte. Gucken, ob wir dadurch in neue... Dinger hier rein können. So, hier konnten wir nicht rein, ne? Das war Level 6. Warte, ich möchte gucken. Level 3. Level 3 und das war... Level 4. Hier können wir jetzt neu rein. Ah, Night Vision Google, also Goggle, keine Ahnung. Nachtsichtgerät. So, Level 3. Irgendwo hier war auch eine Zunetür, ne? Level 4, hier. Stun Grenade, Stun Grenade, wow. Besser als nix. So, Level 1. Ach ja. So, gehen wir wieder raus. So, die Gasmaske brauche ich nicht mehr. Ach, guck mal. Wir haben hier noch die Modes, die wo uns President Baker gegeben hat. Mit den optischen Dateien von äh, Metal Gears Test. Tja, der arme Ordekorn, ne? Also ich nenne den Ordekorn. So will er ja auch, dass wir ihn nennen. So. Jetzt müssen wir Mary suchen. Die ist hier irgendwo. Die versteckt sich ja als, äh, als Feind. Das Besondere ist, sie wird uns nicht verpetzen, sondern sie wird vor uns abhauen. Jetzt müssen wir nur herausfinden, wer von den Wachen das ist. Ich würde mal sagen, er nicht, er hört sich zu männlich an. Und das ist mehr, oder? Ich 
Ich glaube ja. Hey, schlaf ein. Oh. Du schläfst doch schon. Bleib in deiner Rolle. So, Level 4. Wir gehen gleich zu Meryl. Die hat sich jetzt aufs Ding verschanzt. Aufs Frauenklo. Ich guck nur gerade, ob hier irgendwo... Das ist 5, das ist 6. Ach, das... Oh. Das war Meryl. So, Box 2. Noch eine Ration. Guck, da rennt sie weg. Hinterher! Meryl? Hallo? That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary solid snake. Hm. Oui. Your Meryl. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Meryl Silverberg. Hey, men aren't allowed in here. Debbie May West. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. Truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Butt? Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. Ach, jetzt zieht sie sich an. Deswegen schwarzer Bildschirm. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? 
no progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Now, where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Oh, oh. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Dunkle Vorahnungen. Diese Musik ist seltsam. So, wir haben Le Level 5 Karte. Dann gucken wir doch mal kurz... Ne, nicht hier. 
Nein. Hier. So, Meryl, du wartest kurz, ne? Penta 10. Kapierskirion T-First. So, Penta 10 Min heißt es, glaube ich. Ich bin mir nicht mehr sicher. Wo ist es denn? Da. Pentazemin, Benzodiazepin Anti Depre. Punkt. Keine Ahnung. Stoppt Hanze dann beim Zielen auswählen und mit Hilfe des A-Knopfs einnehmen. Also damit äh, ruckeln wir nicht mehr so mit unserer Hand rum, wenn wir zielen. Ist praktisch, aber selten. So, und dann haben wir hier noch den Paarschlüssel. Bin. Komm, leider fehlen uns ja noch zwei. So, wollen wir Meryl nicht länger warten lassen? Und gehen ihr mal nach. Wo ist sie denn? Ups. Hi, Meryl. Du siehst gut aus. Boah. What? What is it? Ach, nichts. Ich mag dich einfach nur. Kann ich die Desert Eagle haben? Bitte. Why are you staring at my... Ja, ich will die Desert Eagle. Ach, dann halt nicht. Egal, ich habe eine so kommen, die ist auch gut. So, hier, ne? Kommst du? Braves Mädel. Alles okay. Don't come here, Snake. Are you okay? What happened? I'm fine. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Mr. Foxhound, the commander is waiting. Hm? Da stimmt doch was nicht. Geht's wieder? Ähm, Meryl, das ist mir ein bisschen zu nah. Do you like me? Äh, what the? Do you like me? Hold me, Snake. What's wrong? Hurry. Uh, please, make love to me. Um.